Lego is expensive, time consuming, painful, and so much more. But to counter those, here are over 20 Lego life hacks that will turn you into a master builder. Let's go! Stacking two Lego plates is one of the worst things a human can ever do in existence. And if you want to avoid obliterating your nails or racking up your bill with the dentist if you try biting them off, you can use a brick separator. Except those don't work a lot of the time, so the solution to that is to use two brick separators. But if that doesn't even work, you can go for four brick separators. But just please avoid doing it in the first place. Okay, next, if you have a massive bin of unsorted parts, there is so much in here, and you want to find a specific piece, there's actually an app that will do it for you. No, this is not sponsored, they aren't paying me billions of dollars, it's just a super cool app I found called Brickit, and let's test it out. Okay, it's ringing up the numbers, average number of females in a LEGO fan's DMs, and now it's fully scanned the pile. Okay, let's see if it can find our 1x2 bricks, and oh, that, that was really fast. Yes, the app actually found a bunch of 2x1s that were in the pile, and even let me zoom in to know their exact location. This one right here is literally upside down. It still shows it. Next, if you've ever been building something smooth and use these flat tile pieces, chances are you've probably run out of them. But before you rage quit, here's a genius, much more part-friendly alternative you could do, which is stacking Lego bricks to form a wall, and then flipping that wall on its side to form a surface smoother than Vin Diesel's scalp. And it's so much easier to take apart than tiles, you actually get to keep your nails! Next, this is a Lego bracket, and this is a brick with studs on the side, commonly known as the snot brick. And if you've ever tried to line them up and connect them, the bracket is slightly thicker, preventing you from using them together. But instead of burning all your Lego brackets, you can grab some of these bricks that have the lip on the bottom, which also happen to not line up with the snot bricks, and add a plate inside of them, because then they can line up with the bracket piece. This is so satisfying. And you can use the parts effectively without rage quitting. The Lego Snop Brick is an extremely useful piece, but did you know that there's a way to make a much better version? You can attach a Technic pin into a brick that has a hole in it, and it can basically do the same thing as a Snop Brick, but can also spin around and give a minifigure brain damage. This is One Direction, and this is a Lego brick that goes in one direction. But you probably know that there's no Lego piece that can go in two opposite directions despite us builders desperately wanting one. But here are two easy ways you can do that. First, you can force choke your Lego Jedi and use their lightsaber hilt to build on two sides. This is one of the only pieces that has an exposed stud on both sides, but it's really whack to build with since it's not a brick, so if you want something that uses more common parts, you can build this by sticking two headlight bricks onto two other headlight bricks at a 90 degree angle with a plate attached, and then shove a Technic brick onto the studs and end it off with a plate on the top and the bottom. That sounded like the Lego equivalent of a complex math equation, but it's just so useful and sturdy. Okay, I asked you guys for a bunch of suggestions on Instagram, so here's a lightning round of what you guys said. You can pair two cheese wedges like this to form a square that can be used for cool shaping. I actually used it in this Star Wars build to represent two different colors that are mixing together. You can use ball joint pieces to build outside the traditional system and in many different directions to build cool things and pose your minifigures in funny ways. You can use transparent pieces to represent your father. Glue is a great tool to keep your Lego builds together. Just look at Lord Business and the Craggle. No, in most situations, attaching glue to a Lego brick is the ultimate sin. But if you never plan to take your build apart, glue can actually be a good option because all of those massive Legoland statues that look like they took nine years and three sets of fingers to build are all glued so that no pieces ever come off and if some dumb kid pushes one over, it won't break. It'll just pancake another kid. But what if you want to remove a print from a printed Lego piece? Like the stickered piece of a naked Lego man. Well, you can follow the lessons of the Lego movie, because if you paid attention to this scene, President Business uses nail polish remover to erase Bad Cop's face and turn him into the ultimate supervillain. But we gotta test out if it's fact or cap. Don't ask how I got this, it's for the experiment. And it's testing time. I rubbed it on this innocent looking civilian. I feel like that guy from Toy Story who cleans up Woody. And after a few minutes, nothing happened. Yep, Lord Business was capping. But if you really do want to remove a print from a figure or any printed piece, you're not out of luck. Ditch the nail polish remover, grab the eraser from your backpack, and rub the minifigure head onto it. It does seem like extreme torture to the minifigure, but it's not like you'll even be able to see their facial expression, because after a while the print fades off. But beware, this can't be undone, so if you own one of those LEGO figures that's worth $200, keep those erasers social distanced away. This is a Lego bamboo plant, and if you've ever accidentally or intentionally broken one of the stems, they can actually perfectly fit inside of the nipple stud to get this really cool mini build. Another thing to always avoid pairing with your Lego is markers. Unleash the weapon. 
This is an absolute masterpiece. Look at this sword. What did you think I was drawing? When I was younger, I used to doodle on my Lego all the time, and now those pieces are ruined. But let's fix that. Let's test out some different ways to remove this unwanted graffiti. First, I gave Lord Business another chance with the nail polish remover and rubbed it on the masterpiece, but quickly realized that it smeared ink everywhere and made it ten times worse. Lord Business is a fraud, but something that's actually supposed to work is a Sigma male's go-to item, perfume. Once again, don't ask where I got this. And hopefully this time we can eradicate the graffiti from these sacred bricks. Okay, I don't know how to do this, I think I just go ham. After lining it up with perfume, I got to wiping it all off and immediately it started to come off and looked much better. Only issue is you can still see the damage from the nail polish remover. Lord Business did us wrong. You can use a round Technic brick to draw a perfect circle with two pencils. It's definitely tricky at first, but much better than what I could do normally. Next, this is a Lego plate, and this is a Lego base plate. If you've tried building with these before, you know that it's extremely frustrating because you can't connect them together because the base plate is thicker than the plate. But what if I told you that there is actually a way you can connect them to form a bigger plate? If you place a large plate on the bottom and then a base plate and a normal plate next to each other, they perfectly line up and can be connected. However, this is an illegal connection, but later in the video, you're gonna learn how to deal with the Lego police. This is a Lego piece called a burp, aka a big ugly rock piece. Why are you bullying me? But even if people say this piece is ugly, it still has a really good use. You can use it to elevate your build as a secure foundation, or use it as filler in the inside to conserve your precious bricks. Okay, next, if you have a bunch of Lego Duplo that you played with as a newborn, or still play with, or stole from your local orphanage, they can be extremely useful. But before we show this trick, I'm gonna buy a Lego Duplo set from 2022. So I speed ran my way to Target, just a 16 year old kid buying some Duplo, and then army crawled back to the crib. It's unboxing time. Okay, after building the most advanced set of my career, which has a whale that can gobble minifigures and even eat its own baby, but for this trick, I killed the Duplo set and whipped out the Duplo bricks. Because if you didn't know, Duplo is actually compatible with normal Lego bricks. It's another great way to save pieces and elevate a build. And you can create cool Lego artwork using 2x2 two two bricks like this right here. If you ever want to protect your money from a stinky robber, hide your money inside a Lego set. They're never gonna know. That way, the only people who can rob you are cultured chads who deserve to rob you. And I used to do this a lot as a kid, so one day when all of the sets break, I'm gonna be a very rich man. Have you ever seen Lego pieces change color? Because one thing to never do with your white pieces or sets is displaying them against direct light. Because over time, they're gonna turn into the color of barf yellow and look much worse. And while it's the most apparent on white, it can happen to any color. Okay, now let's build some creations out of Lego that will actually help you in your everyday life. First, a door stopper. An extremely useful item if you ever want to keep your door open to feel like you don't live in a box, or if you want an extra layer of protection for your bathroom door. I built it using a bunch of common pieces, and when I tested it out... Okay, here it is, and... It works! It worked as planned. Because I added a wheel piece on the side, the rubber surface creates friction that helps prevent the door from folding in and revealing you inside the bathroom. Next, I tried designing a phone stand. You see, I have an issue. Every time I try watching the best YouTuber, my hands shake too much from excitement that I drop my phone. So to still be able to watch legendary videos, I started building a stand out of Lego. Okay, here's the finished design. I even included the boys on these little pedestals, and it's a really simple design that you could definitely whip up. It perfectly grips my phone in both horizontal to binge his YouTube videos and vertical to binge the shorts. The perfect setup for the ultimate Friday night. Oh! If you grab a bit of Lego and dump it in front of the you have a free security system. They won't know what's coming. FBI, open up! Illegal techniques! Oh! 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 Oh!